Team 10 uncovers video of the brutal beating of a trolley passenger by two security guards. Tonight, both officers have been suspended. Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance talked to a witness who sparked the entire investigation. Kristen. This woman was so disturbed, she called Team 10 about the beating. Now, we forced the release of this surveillance video through a public records request. We're going to give you a closer look at that video in just a second. The graphic video shows nearly seven minutes of two guards beating a man. You can hear the loud rapping sound from the security guards baton as they pummel a man on an MTS trolley. It just haunts me. Lynn Riggs was on that trolley. She saw five minutes of the beating. He was not trying to get away. He was just trying not to get further injured. Riggs called Team 10 and we requested this video. It shows two security officers get on board and walk over to the man. The fight begins immediately, but it's not clear why. The two guards and the man fall to the other side of the trolley. A passenger gets up to get out of the way. And I just watched them beat him and beat him and beat him with the baton. Uh, then they would stop to take a breath and continue beating on him. The video shows what seems like a break in the action. Then the officers start again. One of them pounds the man three more times on his back. It leads up to the most violent part of the video. <laughs> You can hear the baton as it hits him. The Metropolitan Transit System told Team 10 they are conducting an internal investigation. They said it appears the security officers may have violated the transit system security use of force protocols. Both men are suspended during this investigation. I, I don't I don't see any reason why why anybody that has that kind of reaction. Um, and out of control behavior, out of control behavior ha has any reason to, to stay on in any capacity. The Metropolitan Transit System hired a use of force expert to review the incident. They also referred this to the La Mesa Police Department. The police department will determine if the officers should face criminal charges. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance.